What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, a.k.a. Pastor Flight Show, Flight Flex Luger. Call me what you want, can't call your boy broke, because I'm rich, and Christ, man, back with another video for y'all today. And before we get started, man, thank y'all so much for joining the Hypers Litters family on YouTube, none other than the Flight Crew, man, shout out to all of y'all that's been subscribing to the channel. And y'all been showing mad love, man, posting me on IG and all that. Man, listen, when you tag me on IG, you know what I'm saying, tag me, and I'm going to tag you back and I'm going to repost you in the store, you hear what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for looking out, man. So make sure, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I think my body of work have already spoken for itself, what I really do and what I bring to the channel. So you need to make sure you stay tuned in with the tuned in, you know what I'm saying? I know that ain't really make sense, but it makes sense when you hit that subscribe button, okay? So do that right now, and follow me on IG, Flight Academy underscore kicks with a Z, man. Now, before we get started, I just want to tell you real quick that this video is being brought to you by none other than Rejuvenator, man. Yes, indeed, man. One of the best sneaker cleaners in the sneaker business community, whatever that is, man. Listen, y'all see all these wonderful shoes behind me. I always constantly tell y'all that Rejuvenator is the only thing that I use, man. And today, I want to talk to y'all about... The brushes, man. These three brushes right here, man. These brothers, you know what I'm saying? They will take care of your shoes, man. What I love about Rejuvenator is they have multiple types of brushes for any types of shoes you have. Anybody who's a sneak collector like me or a sneakerhead like me, you know you're going to have some materials on your shoes that's mesh. You're going to have your suede. You're going to have that patent leather. You know what I'm saying? All different types of actual materials come on. All these different joys, man. And you got to make sure you take care of them because we already know joys are very expensive, bro. The Air Jordans are very expensive. And a lot of y'all work very, 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 very hard to earn the money that you earn. And then when you purchase your sneakers, it's something that you purchase for yourself. So it's only right that you take care of it with something that's good, man. And that is rejuvenated, man. So these three brushes that you see here, man, you have your... Medium brush, you know what I'm saying, where the bristles are kind of medium, so you can use it on more of your uh, softer material. Then you got that stiff one. The stiff brush is for all them hard, stubborn stains that get on your sneakers. And then you got the soft one. You know what I'm saying? Whenever your shoes just need a little bit of TLC, man, use the soft bristle brush, man. Nothing too crazy. Just real nice and easy, man. I love the brush because they're not made cheap. You know what I'm saying? They ain't like them other brushes where you start using them and then like the little hair pieces or, or the brush, the bristles start coming apart, man. It's all cheap and you got to keep buying the brushes. These are very sturdy, man. Very, very sturdy brushes. So y'all go and cop them now. Go to Rejuvenator right now, man. Rejuvenator rocks with the channel. They support the channel, man. So if you rock with me make sure y'all support and go to rejuvenate the link is in the description right now y'all go make it happen man you know what i'm saying so we keep these videos coming back to back to back man as usual man so yes man rejuvenator man thank y'all so much for sponsoring the video today they got a lot of wonderful products and i'm gonna be going over those products in another video or so man but i just want to tell y'all real quickly about these rejuvenator brushes man so get them right now bro and if you make a purchase all right if you make a purchase tag me on instagram and i'll make sure i repost you man so Go ahead right now and get into the link, man. So, here we are today, man, in front of another camera, about to talk some realness, bro. Now, we got this unseen, seems like this is like the Houdini of Yeezys, man. This right here, this is the Houdini of Yeezys. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a Yeezy that recently released. Nobody had an early review on the actual sneaker. Now, if somebody did, I didn't see it, so my apologies, no disrespect. But I ain't seen nobody with them, man. All I just seen people with the pictures that were already posted of the actual shoe. I've called around several places, you know what I'm saying? And I know people that know people that knew people that know people, you know what I'm saying? And nobody had the shoe early. When it came to the time of the release, nobody had the actual shoe, man. So, I told y'all, when I got this shoe in, we was going to look at the shoe, and I want to talk about... Why the heck was this shoe so hard to find? So here we have, y'all see what box that is? Yeezy 700, that side, uh-huh, that way, right here, boom. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, let me get up close on it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I paid a pretty penny just to get this shoe, man. I just didn't want to get defeated by a shoe. So I paid a lot to get this shoe, which I feel like I might have overpaid a little bit. But I needed to see what was so crazy about this shoe, man. So... Let's pull this bad boy out. Y'all know what shoe it is. Now, to keep it a buck with y'all, I wanted this shoe, man. I really did. I wanted this shoe, but, um, you know, I don't know. So this person that I bought the shoe from, I guess they wanted the shoe at Atmos in New York. Can y'all see that bomb? All right. That's the store in New York. All right, cool. So, this right here, man. Now, why this was so hard to cop, I have no idea. 
but I am severely aggravated with the shoe. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, the more that I'm looking at the shoe, I don't know if I like the shoe anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Seen it, I, this is the first time y'all are getting my live reaction on this actual sneaker. This is my first time pulling a sneaker out of the box. I have not pulled the sneaker out. I literally just cut to open the box and turn the camera on. But, um... I don't know if I really want the shoe as much as I wanted it, man. But this shoe was extremely hard to get, man. I know people had, you know, tried to cop on Yeezy Supply. Usually, Yeezy Supply is, like, up for, like, an hour or two. Like, you waiting in line. But um, with this sneaker, uh, they sold out. Like, I'm talking about, like, 10, 15 minutes. So, I thought that was unusual. Nobody that I know. And, I, like I said, I know a lot of people, man. Nobody that I know actually hit on Adidas. Raffle for them. Um, I didn't hear of anybody hitting in store. You know what I'm saying? I'm in like 10 sneaker groups on Facebook. I only seen two posts of people selling them. Some people still haven't gotten their pairs in. But here we have it, man. The Sun Yeezys, man. Now, like I said, I'm not a huge, huge fan of 700s. I had the Wave Runners and I sold my Wave Runners. Um, but I did want to at least try these shoes out. But now that I'm seeing them in hand, I don't know if I really like them. I do like the multicolor of them. But it's like I'm not really getting with them like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I love shoes that got different colors, different vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like how you see here. So you would think that I would be a huge fan of the actual sneaker. But for some reason, having this shoe in my hand and looking at it now, I'm not getting that it factor when it comes to this actual shoe. So I don't know how to feel about this actual Yeezy 700 at this point. Um, I know one thing, when it comes to comfortability, the Yeezy 700 is one of the top shoes. I will give them that. But sometimes when you wear a size 14, it be looking all crazy on your feet, man. You know what I'm saying? How you looking all like a bozo and all that. But, um, I don't know. Y'all can get the good details of the actual shoe. I'm Like I said, nobody really provided a review on here. You know what I'm saying? I love the mesh material, material here. I do love the suede that's on the toe box, as you can see right there. Mesh, mesh, you know what I'm saying? Mesh on the side. Now, that's more of a, like a brown and orange, like a honey mustard blend right here going on to your upper and your mid. On the back of the heel badge, this is that pretty canary yellow. Um, you know what I'm saying? Then the insides that mesh with the yellow as well. Y'all see that there? So, that is the pretty basis of the actual shoe. But I, I don't know, man. For some reason, I'm... Uh, I'm having second thoughts at this point, man. Like I said, this is live reaction. I'm having second thoughts about the extra sneaker, whether I really like it like I thought I did. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know right now. Y'all type in the comment sections right now. Y'all still feeling the same way about these sneakers? I don't know. I feel like if a lot of people had seen this shoe early or we had early pairs, people would have changed their mind on it. Now, the shoe is going for almost 500 right now, 475 480 I think I've seen. Um... But that's that's to be told, to be honest with y'all, because once the shoes start getting in people's hands, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will probably start posting these for sale. Now, I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? This is just my opinion. Some of y'all may be looking at the junk like, bro, this junk fire. For the people that think the shoe's fire, here you go. All right? Get a good glimpse of it so you can drool over it. The Yeezy 700 Sun. Y'all see it there. You know what I'm saying? If you think it's dope, this shoe is for you. I just can't say that I still feel the same way that I did before. Before seeing these bad boys in hand. So y'all let me know in the comment section right now. I, I don't know why it was so hard for these, man. I don't know why it was so hard to get this actual sneaker. But we have it now, man. You know what I'm saying? We have it now. And there's nothing we really do about it. But, in my opinion, I don't know if these sneakers were everything that we thought they were going to be. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't know. But y'all let me know in the comment section right now. How y'all feel? What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? How y'all like it? Y'all rocking with it? You don't rock with it? Let me know. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little perplexed on my feelings about these Yeezy 700s, bro. But like I said, it's nice, nice put together shoe, but it is different for me now. So, let me know right now in the comment section, did any of y'all cop? Because I did an actual live on this actual cop when the shoe dropped. This is the actual shoe that I missed. I did a live on this shoe, and um, I missed the drop. Well, you know, it sold out before I can get to it. And there were, like, literally nobody on my live that ain't got the draw. I do like the teal coloring right here. Y'all see that? I'm doing on this one. You see the teal right there in the toe box? I do like that part. Other than that, uh, it's a little toss-up with me. But I did a live and I actually missed out on the shoe. And, um, you know, nobody in my live actually caught it. You know what I'm saying? We had about 100-something people in there. They, they didn't hit on it either, so I don't know. 
we're going to see how the shoe looks once people start getting them in hand, man. But that is the story of the infamous Yeezy 700 Sons. Let me know how y'all feeling about these shoes. Are y'all okay with them? Are y'all rocking with them? Or are y'all feeling the same now that y'all see this actual video on them? This is not an early review, but this is just simply a review and discussion about these Yeezy 700s. But that's just my opinion, man. But with that being said, man, listen, man. It's Saturday. We got business to get to. I hope everybody have a blessed weekend. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe out there, man. Please, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And as well, I will have plenty of early reviews for you to review yourself that I have listed on the channel if this is your first time tuning in. So hit the subscribe button right now. I'm talking about hit it right now, bro. Hit it right now. I'm trying to hurry up and hit that 25K mark. I'm um, trying to do try to, try to hit 25K before mid-February, man. You know, let's let's go hit 30K by next month. Let's let's run it up, man. I, I'm not stopping with these videos. We're going back to back like Drake, man. And we just gonna do that. And that's that, man. So until next time, y'all know how we rocking, man. Take flight with the flies, we ain't flying. Me just ain't flying right, hustling, motivate, long live nip. And we out, man.